First, can I say that I'm sorry I'm not with you. I've been very much looking forward to being at, uh, at the event. But unfortunately, as you can imagine, because of the discussions in Westminster about Syria and, and Iraq, um, I've had to stay in London. But I did want to just say a few words. Because starting your own business is probably one of the most challenging, exhilarating and terrifying things you can do. But what you'll hear from people today who have been there and done it themselves is that despite all the long days, tough sales pitches, pages of budgets and plans, it is all worth it. You only need to look at Sheffield to see how important that continued ambition and drive is to the success of our wider economy as well as your own future. For generations, Sheffield has relied on its people to turn their innovative ideas into cutting-edge, high-quality products and services that the world wants to buy. 100 years ago, it was individuals like Harry Brearley, the inventor of stainless steel. And today, it's entrepreneurs like you, breathing, breaking new ground in high-value sectors such as education, advanced manufacturing, healthcare, biotech, and the digital and creative industries. It's that same ingenuity and grit which is driving Sheffield's economic revival right now. Despite the tough economic conditions, Almost 16,500 more small businesses have been created and over 18,000 more people are in employment in Sheffield since 2010. We have the highest proportion of young people in apprenticeships out of all of England's large cities, with thousands more being created thanks to Sheffield's government-sponsored City Deal. And we also have the lowest ever proportion of young people not in education, employment or training. That's probably no surprise with two of the UK's best universities and some of our greatest colleges on the doorstep. All of them are focused on equipping the next generation of Sheffield's entrepreneurs with the right skills and expertise to forge an even brighter future. This is one of the reasons why government chose to base our new UK business bank, which will unlock £10 billion worth of finance for startups and small businesses across the country right here in Sheffield. It's also what helped convince us to establish two of our high-value manufacturing catapult centres in the region. Yet Britain's entrepreneurs, especially in the north, haven't always got the support they needed to keep that spark of enterprise alive. Down the years, successive British governments relied on the success of our financial sector and capital city, neglecting other sectors and regions of the economy. So when the economic crisis hit, we saw just how unsustainable that approach was. Risking our future, weakening our competitiveness and radically limiting the opportunities available to every person, business and region in Britain. That's why right from the start of this coalition, I and my party have been focused on rebalancing the UK economy and helping more businesses to do what you do best, generating growth, jobs and exports. So when entrepreneurs like you told us that they were finding it hard to get the support, finance and technology they needed to build their companies, we committed to make the UK one of the best places in the world to do business. And we're putting our money where our mouth is. We're reducing our corporation tax to make it the lowest rate in the G7 and have increased capital allowances to kickstart business investment. We've cut every company's national insurance bill by up to £2,000 a year making it possible for you to employ either one person on 22,000 or four people on the minimum wage without having to pay a single penny of national insurance. Yet, we know there's much more we could do. The recent referendum in Scotland has started a huge debate in this country about how we give our nations and regions the freedom and flexibility they need to secure their own future. In the Liberal Democrats, we've always believed that the people who live and work in a local community know far more about how to help that area thrive than any minister or official in Whitehall ever could. And that's why when we joined this coalition, we made it a priority to give local leaders and businesses more of that power and control back. We've established the Regional Growth Fund to help UK businesses looking to boost their future competitiveness, leverage extra private investment. We've established our landmark city deals, giving local leaders more freedom and flexibility to decide how they want to use the investment available to drive local growth and launch the first of our growth deals with access to a £12 billion pot of funding in the coming years. Here in Sheffield, we're already seeing the impact of that work with ambitious plans to use the city's £300 million local growth deal to create 8,000 jobs, 5,000 homes and training for 40,000 people. 
The next step is to ensure communities can make full use of those powers. And that's why I've launched our new Northern Futures project. We want to hear from everyone, including local leaders, businesses, experts and entrepreneurs like you, about how communities can exploit this greater freedom to build an engine of growth right across the North. Over the coming weeks, we're holding a series of events to gather people's views, culminating in an economic summit to be held in November. In a globalised world, you're not just competing with your neighbours for investment, you also need to stand up against entrepreneurs from other global cities in India, China, Europe and the US in terms of your skills, infrastructure, transport and technology. So do get in touch now. We're interested in your plans to equip our regions, businesses and communities in the north with what they need to compete against the best in the world. In government, we're working to ensure that across all sectors, you and other British entrepreneurs get the support you need to seize the right opportunities for you. Together we can build a stronger economy, a fairer society in Britain, but we need your dreams and drive to make it happen. So please take that leap, start and grow your own businesses. We're there to help you realise your ambitions. I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.